Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Control. Um, like always, it's been a long time since I played this game, so it might take me a few minutes to get back into the swing of things, but I've just been really, really obsessed with Last of Us, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me as I transition back into this game. Um, it is an amazing game, it really is, but I mean, The Last of Us, guys, come on. <laughs> So I'm really excited to keep playing. I do want to know where the story is going to go. Uh, we did get the name of the entity we were talking to in our head last video, so I'm kind of excited to see where that goes. Um, as always, if you enjoy the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. Here we go, you guys. Okay. Find Marshall. Oh, God. Okay. Where are we going? I'm gonna see if I can talk to this again. The situation I saw the strange to dog out of here near the oldest house. The hiss are tampering with it somehow, agitating it. Matching freak. Tell me how to get to this guy. Please. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. That's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought of a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? That didn't help me. At all. See you soon. Sweet. Be careful out there. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... Run around. Let's see what the sign says. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Cafeteria, nostalgia department, communications department, dead letters. Obviously you never read the P6 data. That's not what I need. Maybe the elevator? Where can we go here? Oh! We got there. <laughs> you guys, it's so hard to jump back into this game. I don't know why. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Okay, so that reminds me. Someone Research told me that sector, I missed. Huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. That I missed a uh, TV with something good on it. So, I'm gonna have to go back and see where that was. I don't remember now, but I want to see what I missed. I was told I might have a good reaction to it. Oh, okay. 
Oh shit, I actually got him. Well, this isn't the gun I want. Shit, how do I switch guns? No. Oh, fucker. There's like no cover in here. Wait, this is a timed one? Shit. Oh crap! Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit? I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into. Okay, anyways. Um, shit. Every time. Come on. I feel like I need to do this. Oops. Okay, guys. So I left here to go do that time thing. I died. The time thing disappeared. So now I'm back here. So I just cut that out of the video because it was already 15 minutes in and I did not a single thing. It was mostly just me running around and then forgetting that I wasn't immune to bullets and then dying. So we're just gonna pick up here and pretend nothing else happened, okay? All right, here we go. Finding Darling now. And these fuckers are back. Of course. These ones might be tough. No flying while intoxicated. Come on, come get me. It's not important because it's not going to. 
I'm gonna kill you with a bench. What? What kind of gun you got? I guess we're going down here now. that way. Dr. Darling's office. We're gonna go this way. Can we get some food? There's a radio. Can jump up here? What do you got for me? music to kick some butt to. Hi Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong, beats a day in the lab. Plus it's always great to work with you. Oh yeah, I finished the comparative analysis of the two black rock samples you sent. The prism or whatever you called it. I filled them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? Haha. <laughs> anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks or dinner even. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime? I'm free tomorrow. Ooh, Hubert and Carla. Getting down to this music on their date. I always gotta check out the bathroom, so you never know what goodies are gonna be in here. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know why, but that reminded me of Lego. Like a Lego game. Focus. Dr. Darling's office. Oh. I don't think this is the right way. What the hell? Probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> what happened? He 
here. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by blank, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their util utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought black rock, one of our most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. The fuck? Up here? never know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Darling's office. God. Oh. I hope that wasn't important. Is he drunk? Yes. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. They're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, 
classified. One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Exactly. We're making more. That's terrifying. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes, Jungian? Archetypes? I don't know. And the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, created, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by blank in the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Alright. Well, he ain't here. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay, apparently I can't beat it yet. Whoa, game. Whoa, game. So, Darling is not in here. So, we're going to leave. And once again, Erase a big chunk of the video. Okay, now where? We came from up there. That's blocked off. Can we go to this red part that was here? Yes, this is clear enough. Wait, no, it's not.
Gloria. to reach her. What is your emergency? Hello, hello. I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire. Towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay. And can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but is no longer in service. Oh, that's creepy. And that's blood. Oh my god, it's a hiss. Tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. What? Every time I think they're gonna give us answers, I just get more fucking confused. And I want to know more. But they won't tell me. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the Astral Knots to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. 
We could have done a better job with it, but Blank was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Blank, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the, I'm assuming the hiss, behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. A new naming conventions... New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. What are we looking at? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. That must be the hiss. Okay, so it lives in the astral dimension, and it came back here on accident. And that's not good. I can't believe they keep that thing here. thing that I can't kill that. So we just run. What does this do? I don't know. I don't know what I did.
fight. Sorry, my life in this game. I've died a few times. But I think I figured it out.
my god, game. Come on. Shit. Fuck you.
The study extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. Extensive quality and quantitative, qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in blank. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of group theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. this control point now.
I have no idea what I did. Not a clue. But. Please state your name for the record. All Warren, astronaut of first class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary? Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. What's this gonna do? You see to complete the astral plane challenge. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Find another way to defeat them. Brains were fried when I took over the object. Sorry, guys. Alrighty guys, I have to stop there. Um, that was a little rough. I got lost a bunch, didn't know what I was supposed to be doing a bunch. Um, that whole maze thing I couldn't even do yet, so I'm glad I didn't keep doing that and I looked it up. Uh, <laughs> but we're making progress. Uh, we learned a new skill which is going to be really, really awesome. I can't wait to use that. And I'm still really enjoying the game. I'm still super confused. I feel like we haven't gotten any answers yet other than we have an entity in our head. We know the hiss is from the astral plane and that it kind of hitchhiked a ride back to our reality. Um, but other than that, I'm still super confused. I've got no idea what's going on. I still have no idea what's going on with her brother. Um, like, I, I don't know. I feel like there's more questions than answers. So I have to keep playing and figure it out. I wish I could just binge through the rest of the game because I really, really, really am enjoying the game. Um, yeah, so I hope you are too. Uh, I apologize for it being so clunky and me forgetting all of the controls, but I think I picked them up fairly quickly again. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell button when you do so you know when to post the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your support. Have a great day.